अनास्मिका चनुन कोई संख्या वाले सफ्रादी पतिकारी रागों में दा चनुन उन्होंने नमँगे नाविय देहानी हल्फ्यो आवेश में दा हल्फ्यो ने उन यंगरो आवेश में दा सो गुड अफ्टरनून लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन now I'm going to present about the northward uh, in the expansion of southern butterfly in accordance with climate change in the South Korea. So these are the presentations topic uh, of this presentation. First of all, introductions. Butterflies, uh, as we know, the butterflies is a very beautiful insect and it is uh, uh, distributed globally distributed from northern regions to the the north from north pole to the southern south pole and then altogether more uh, altogether about 17500 species butterflies in the world among them 200 555 species of butterflies are recorded in korea so nambangi nabi or southern butterflies it is the but uh, it is uh, the group of butterflies which is found in the southern region of the Korea, especially 36.5 degree latitude. So some example, uh, all, uh, about 16.42% of the total butterflies in Korea are included under the southern butterflies. For example, Kuknam Nora, uh, Kuknam Norang Navi, Kuknam Bujan Navi, and so on. So southern butterflies are considered to be adapted in humid and warm and humid climate as, as we know the global cl uh, climate change is a new burning issue in the world and we can see the uh, these figures uh, increasing temperature and precipitations in the past and the prediction based on the rcp scenario 2.6 4.5 and 8.5 the future prediction is uh, being on so this is the problem uh, to the uh, minor communities of uh, organisms like a uh, butterfly insect to the big animals including the human beings so in in korea uh, the table shows the incre uh, uh, increasing the temperature and precipitations uh, in future so the scenarios and then uh, how uh, the average uh, temperature average precipitations how it will increase uh, it shows in the figures uh, as well as in the table. So uh, in Korea, the average temperature is expected to increase by 0 0.63 degrees centigrade every 10 years. And by the end of 2100, it will be about 5.7 degree centigrade. So it, uh, it will be the really problem to the uh, old living bi biodiversity in Korea. So there are various effects of climate change. And in case of the butterflies, it may affect in the metamorphosis and physiological activities, as well as the effect in the growth and survival of the larva, pupa, and adult of the uh, butterflies by controlling the phenology of the host plant. So uh, as like to other animal community, it, it may affect on the range shift from lower altitude to the higher altitude. And globally, in UK, one point uh, every year, one point eight kilometers upward or or northward uh, uh, range shift of the butterfly reported in two thousand six. And similar studies have been carried out in Korea. So the uh, it may cause the population declining and local extinction also. Therefore, we have to study how what kind of effects occurred in the butterfly community, uh, particularly in the southern butterfly. Uh, this is the main topic for this presentation. And then, uh, as we know, the species richness is the number of different species represented in an ecological community or a certain kind of landscape or the region. And then here we are uh, discussing about the habitat expansion of the uh, species. So uh, species expand refer to the new habitat expansion of certain species within a uh, uh, respected of the time. Here figures we can see, uh, we are prepared, uh, uh, we prepared a figure. So the initially the, uh, the uh, um, distribution is T0 and then while increasing the time, it will be the Tn. So cumulative increasing in the uh, time, uh, it will be, the, it shows the potential habitat expansion of the organisms. 
so the main uh, objectives of this pre uh, pre uh, presentation is the estimating the potential impact of climate change on southern butterflies of korea and the specific objectives are predicting the species richness and then determining the potential species expand in different province of the korea now materials and metal section in korea uh, as we know the all together 17 provinces uh, seven, uh, among them the gangwon province is the largest uh, province and the uh, sejong is the smallest province and uh, in this study uh, we uh, select the eight representative species of the southern butterflies uh, based on the uh, earlier uh, earlier reports and then uh, the species presents uh, data collected from the different uh, national uh, national surveys carried out in korea so here are the list of eight species of the southern butterflies they under the five families and these species are not only distributed in korea but also in the southern regions including the china japan australia and oriental regions uh, india nepal and some other countries also these species are particularly grassland and the forest uh, edge species uh, which are distributed in the different patches of the in korea uh, the species uh, eight the species presents point uh, are shown in this figure here we can see the uh, current uh, currently the uh, presence data uh, taken from the southern regions of the south korea all uh, so climate data we use the bioclimatic data uh, bioclimate data and then using the pearson correlation method uh, we selected the six variables bio 1 2 3 12 13 and 14 with together altitude variable also we selected for the modeling of this for this study and then we study the species distribution model using the maxent and uh, maxent and then uh, the model evaluation and validation performed using the AUC and TSS value. Similarly, we calculate the climatically suitable habitat area of the potential expansion of each species, average species richness and maximum species richness in different provinces of the Korea. Now results and discussion. So based on the model prediction, uh, out of the seven variables, six bioclimatic and one altitude, uh, the temperature related variables are the uh, main uh, dominating variables among the six, seven variables. Uh, and the uh, one species, Zizina otis, is the one uh, species which uh, at which altitude factor, altitude variable is the mo most dominating uh, factor. And then the model evaluation and validation we can see here AUC and TSS value. This result shows the, the model prediction uh, is uh, more uh, model prediction is uh, being more accurate uh, because of the uh, balancing between the AUC and TSS value. And then uh, first we uh, calculate the climatically suitable habitat. Here all eight uh, among the eight uh, species, seven, all seven species retain the current habitat with expansion of the more habitat uh, in the future uh, here we can see the table uh, from current 2030 50 80 uh, under both rcp scenarios 4.5 and 8.5 but one species graphenum sarpedon uh, will uh, lose the habitat in the future so it could be the effect of the climate change or some other uh, further studies required for this species and then we calculate the potentially suitable habitat of each species here lampidus boeticus would uh, would uh, expand more uh, the highest uh, habitat expansion will occur in the lampidus boeticus species and uh, the other species uh, then graphenum sarpedum will reducing the habitat suitable habitat in the future now this figure shows the current uh, species richness of the southern butterflies. Here we can clearly see the current prediction in the southern region. Space, uh, it's, uh, currently, its species richness is highest in Jeju, Jalla, Jalla Namdo, uh, Khyangsang Namdo, Busan, uh, and some other southern parts of the South Korea. But in future, 
uh, in 2030, 50, and 80, we can see the expansion of the habitat is increasing in northward direction, northward regions, and central and the northern regions. The both scenarios, RCP 4.5 and 8.5, predicted these results. And then we calculate the species richness, average species richness, and maximum species richness in each province from Jeju to Seoul from southern part to the northern part, we can see the currently uh, average and maximum species richness in the southern region. For example, Jeju, Jalla Namdo, to up to the Guangzhou. But in 2030, 50, and 80, uh, it is increasing continuously. And then in 2080, we can see the in uh, Seoul, uh, Seoul, the maximum richness will be the seven. But now it uh, just, in currently, it, uh, it is just five. So this kind of scenario is found in both RCP such a 4.5 and 8.5. Then we calculate the species expand, actual species expand in the new area. Here we can see the new habitat expansion in 2030, 50, and 80. Uh, we can see the new uh, areas increasing in the central and the northern region continuously in the future. Then we calculate the exact uh, actual habitat expansion area uh, in each province and shows the uh, in future the northern uh, the provinces located in the northern regions. Uh, for example, Sejong, Kyungi, Kangwon, Incheon, Seoul. We can see the uh, relatively high expansion of the habitat uh, comparing to the uh, other other places. So in discussion. This, this study shows all the species will have the habitat expansion in future except Graphenum sarpedon. And then we predicted the northern northward range expansion of the southern butterflies based on the increase in species richness in the northern region, particularly in Khyangsan Bukdo, Songsang Namdo, Kyonggi, Incheon, Kangwon, and Seoul. It's like to uh, earlier studies, uh, the temperature uh, uh, earlier studies uh, in Korea, as well as in the other countries, so temperature uh, uh, temperature higher than 37 degrees centigrade in southern communities tended to move slowly toward the northern uh, northern direction. So uh, similar cases are found in the many kinds of butterflies in Korea as well as the other countries. The habitat expansion and the northward range expansion of southern species not only depend on bioclimatic variables but also other factors like habitat type, land cover change, life history trade, food plant types, and other physiological activities. So uh, for the more accurate production, uh, now we just use the species distribution model. Uh, the other models uh, like uh, including the uh, habitat uh, change, land cover change, uh, and then integrating modeling approach required to find the more production of this uh, species. So in conclusion, this study uh, revealed that current habitat of southern butterfly present in southern region of Korea below the 36 degree latitude, particularly in Jalla Namdo, Sangsang Namdo, and Jeju. But in future, it will expand toward the central, northern, and northeastern region under the future climate change. So the provinces located in higher uh, latitudes Seoul, Kengi, and Kangwon predicted to be climatically more suitable habitat for southern butterflies in future. So this kind of studies will be the uh, helpful for the uh, climate uh, for preparation of the climate change adaptations as well as the species conservation aspect. So this is the acknowledgement, and these are the references used in these presentations. And thank you for your.